Hey, what's up, YouTube? Guys, I got a box of nickels here, and I do know that it is circulated because it's got holes in the top of it. I'm going to open up this box. Uh, this is the bank where we got a lot of good stuff recently, and so I ran and got two more boxes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open up this box, and uh, we'll see what we can get. We're going to do a time lapse. Here we go. All right, guys, I am done with the hunt, and I got some awesome, awesome coins in this box, guys. Uh, three of them in particular. I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, the first, what is it, 13 of them. Uh, we'll use my macros lens. Let me put that on real quick. I'll get in there close and personal. Guys, the first part of this box was really boring, and I thought, eh, it's not going to be that good ended up being amazing so we got a 1952 let me see if i can zoom out a little bit there we go my light's kind of in a bad spot 52 there's a 53 58 uh 46 41 a 1940 another 41 then we got a 53 57 59 and a 47 and another 57 so these were all common years uh, nothing super crazy but now let's get into the cool stuff I'm gonna bring these down guys I am so stoked so the first one I have here is a 1939 that is the second year we're gonna flip it over right now and see if we have uh, any doubling don't think so I need to get it in some better light this is kind of bad light uh, but I don't think so so it's a 1939 then I had another 1939 and I believe this one was also a Philadelphia we'll flip it and see if we had any doubling so it was a Philadelphia don't see any doubling on that you usually see it on the L's of Monticello the S of sense uh, you can usually spot it pretty easy all right, the next one we got here is a war nickel, and it was super dark, super, super black toning. Uh, it is a 1944. I actually thought it was just going to be a dirty coin, but it ended up being a silver, and it is a 44P, so that is awesome. I got one silver there. Next one up, another 1944 silver. And this one was a Denver, so that's pretty awesome. Two silvers for the box, but guys, that's not even the best thing about this whole box. Right here, let's zoom in real slow so you can get a look. This is awesome. 1950, now when I first saw this, I knew that if I flipped this over and there was a D mint mark, that I would have a key date. And we do live just about an hour away from Denver, so I thought, man, there could be a good chance. Uh, all the other 50s I've ever got have never had a D. And I flip it over and look at this, guys. Bam. 1950 D. That is a key date for the Jefferson series. Uh, I'm not even sure how many are minted on this, but I... Tell you what, I was so stoked when I saw that. I have never got a key date before. That is my first key date. Guys, it's it's in pretty good shape, too. Uh, when we flip it back over, you can kind of see. There's got a little something going on on his head right there. It's not too bad, though. It's in overall, it's in decent shape. So, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, post your comments down below. We'll see you next time, and as always, happy hunting.